Hello and welcome to Book Buzz brought to you by the Peter Central Book Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda. And we are back to give you, let me see, July's information. Summer reading is upon Sum us. It is definitely upon us in this hot summer, which is good. It's yeah. been good. It's been busy. We like it. We're happy. We still have our shirts. Summer reading shirts. We only yeah. have one more. We, well, we'll wear it next month for August, too, yes. right? So We're still all together now. We are all together. That just sounds special. <laughs> that it. Yes. So we have our juice boxes. Yep. Both of us forgot our bee earrings because we're doing the bee theme, but that's okay. I yes. went for like the mat kind of matching uh, colors. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, but. You can make That's a bee the at the I library, and we have lots of bees on display in the library right now of all of our little kids made that they're pledging to be kind this summer. So it should be a really That's great true. summer in Peter's Township because every person's pledging to be kind. This is true, and that includes us, so I better change my ways. You better. I, yeah, I pledged <laughs> my bees up there, so I, all right, give me time to work on it. So the summer reading program, of course, full swing, and it, even though it's July, it's never too late to still right. register, yes. right? You yeah. can get on Beanstack and um, and still participate. Just hustle and yes. just keep reading and yep. and doing all the fun little um, bonuses. All and the fun activities and yeah. stuff that go along with it. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah, and come into the library. Don't you think just coming into our department motivates you? It's very cheerful in there right it now. It is filled with, what, 120? Three baskets. So, baskets. Yeah, 120 yeah. baskets. Yeah, that's that. That'll get me reading. Plus, there's baskets for adults, so yes. you can still register for zero through adult. Yeah, and still everybody get can do something. it. Yep, still early. I would say, at any point, just do it. But the sooner the better, because you have a better chance of getting points. Right. 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 All Absolutely. right. So come in, and uh, hopefully, if you register. You can get a bag that we gave out at the kickoff, and uh, there, of course, is supply. You know, a su supply lasts. Yeah. What are you doing? So I brought some friends with me today. Aw. So I have Chief McLaughlin here. Oh, oh. And um, I don't know. I don't know. Princess. Is she a princess? Yeah. Yeah. I guess she looks like. Almost like a Rapunzel or something. Yeah, right. But she reminds me of Prairie Dawn from the Sesame Street, but that's, yeah. that's oh, copyrighted. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then Jeep's losing his jacket. <laughs> uh, stay dressed, sir. <laughs> Clothes must be worn. There we but go. But anyway, so I brought these friends Those are today. Cute. They are cute. They were in my drawer for some reason. The things we have. <laughs> At, what, at the library? They were yeah. in your drawer. Okay. <laughs> in my desk drawer. So um, we have the Pittsburgh Puppet Works is coming back to the library. They were here um, around Halloween. They did a Halloween show mm -hmm. for us, and they're going to be coming that back cute. Um, in July, very beginning of July, July 7th. You do have to sign up for it. We have limited seats available, um, but it's so fun. They're going to do a story. Their show is called AB. B E E B C D. It's about a bee who's trying to learn her alphabet. Aww. And um, they add a lot of music and song, like different things to their shows. It's a lot of fun. We, we really enjoy the Halloween one. So we're excited to have them come back um, Friday, July 7th at 1. So it'll be fun. I'm excited too. I real, You know what? When we had that Halloween one, I was so pleasantly surprised. Yes, it's so like, fun. Like I wanted to be in there. Yes. And let everybody help themselves out there. You yes. Know, out in the because I I am participating in our. You want program. to watch it? Yeah. It was so good. So yeah. I look forward to it. Yeah, it will be fun. Yeah. So and maybe is that in the is that during the day? Yes, it's a Friday afternoon at one o'clock. Oh, okay, I'll be there. Yep, it'll be fun. Excellent. Excellent. Moving on, you're going to have to, well, help me with these because Space Exploration Camp. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me about that. So I brought in my Space Exploration Camp journal. Thank you. Yes. So we are partnering with our friends at WQED. They, um, they have a whole program um, available to their library. Oh, I forgot. Ready, Jet, Go. Right? Yes, okay. with Ready, Jet, Go. So each week we're going to learn about a different thing with space. Um, the kids will get these little journals to kind of keep track of it. So we just started this off, and now we're moving into, I think, our second week we're going to be making, um, we're going to learn about how monkeys were the first, like, animal in space, and they're going to get their own little stuffed monkey, and they're going to create a space suit for their little mini monkey. Oh, fun. And they'll, so they'll get, then, then they will earn, there's different badges they can earn. They earn, um, let me see if it's in here, they earn their space suit designer badge. 
So oh, um, cool. Yep. So they'll get a little badge, and they'll put it in their little notebook here, uh -huh. and they get to draw out their space suit, and then that's where their little badge will go. That's so really then they'll cool. get this really cool um, like journal it. to keep track of all your work that you're going to be doing. So. Yeah, so that'll be a lot of fun. That's gonna be that's for like our school age kids, our first yeah. and third graders. What is it? July sixth through August tenth. Yes. Well, also on those same days. Yes, in the evening. Thursdays. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't have the times on here. Yep, so this is an afternoon program. It's okay. at 2 o'clock. And then we have... Then the Curious George Camp is Thursday is evening. evenings, yep, with Miss Morgan. Same dates. Oh, yeah. you're going to have fun with Miss Morgan. She's back and doing stuff. Yeah, she's like, she's so much fun. So that one is also through our friends at QED. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to provide us a bunch of Curious George resources. Yep, Curious um, George. Yep, so they'll do a different science experiment because a lot of the Curious George shows... There's a lot of STEM activities involved in those so because I mean, George is curious. So of he tries course. to find out these different things. So yep. each week, I think they're doing one on like windmills. And every week, they have like a little different um, science activity they're going to do. And that's for our preschoolers and our early elementary school kids. So like yeah. pre preschool to like first grade. Cool. Um, and then, of course, there'll be some Curious George stories to of be heard. Of course. I think that Miss um, Morgan's got that down pat. Yes. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun for sure. And then Teen Book Club, which I don't have the book on me right now, but we're going to be read um, These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Mm. Um, it was selected by members of the book club. Um, I have not read it yet, so I'm looking oh, forward okay. to discussing it and catching up and reading it very quickly here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? They've been picking out, and these are the ones that they pick. Yes. They're picking out, like, some cool choices, right? Right. You right. know, I... I, I'm not familiar w with this title. No, I wasn't so, either. It's new to, to yeah, me, too. Yeah, which I love about, well, they've got the book up there. They, right, there it is. Um, which I love about book clubs. Yes, yeah, because you sometimes will be introduced to something maybe you wouldn't have ever read before. Yeah. Um, and our book club always meets the very first Saturday of the month at lunchtime at 1230. We provide a pizza lunch. Um, you get a free copy of the book if you're the first ones to sign up for it. And so you come to the book club having read the book, eat lunch, talk about the book. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. We've really been enjoying it. It doesn't get any better than that. Pizza and books. What more do you that's want? That's right. Like? Oh, that's our dream. Yep. All right. And oh, my then, gosh. Speaking I can't... of Miss Morgan, yeah. her and Miss Beth are going to be teaming up to run a this college essay writing workshop. That's so excellent. For our high school students, ninth through 12th grade, um, you know, writing your college essay mm. is a really big, important part Ooh. of that application process. Um, Morgan is a current college student, so she's very fresh in her experience, and um, Beth is a professional writer, so they're going to work together to kind of give you guys some tips and tricks on how to really nail that college essay. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I think that's, that's going to fit. I think that, oh, definitely. That's a fabulous idea. Yes. I love it. Absolutely. It's you know, a good one. I think when we were talking about this, and sometimes when we bring up programs, I know I probably say this a lot, kind of like the parents that say, mm -hmm. you know, I walk to school right. uphill both ways yeah. kind of thing. But back in my day, all of these resources are wonderful. Right. We didn't have anything. And the nice thing is that not only do they have these resources, they're free yes. of charge. There's right. no charge for them. So... You know, yeah. You know, take advantage, right, of what? Absolutely, yeah. free help. I mean, you know, and then, like I said, that's a really big part of the application process right, right. now is that essay. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Love it. I do too. If I went back in time, I. You know what? If I could turn, turn back, back time. time. <gasps> Speaking of which, Wait. get ready for your karaoke no. night. Oh, you got a real one. I got the real. <laughs> yeah, thing. but yours is not bedazzled and feathery. Is that what? <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. Does that one work or is it just a... No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's hollow. <laughs> My niece That's got me this for nice, Christmas one year. Really? Yeah. So I, I thought... Yeah. <laughs> well, to talk about, we're doing um, uh, Once Upon a Karaoke. <laughs> and I know. I thought that was cute. Uh, family Karaoke Night, Monday, July 10th, 630 to 730. And so I brought this as an example. Mm -hmm. because oh, the tween mega pack. That tween. Yeah, because I thought, well, this will probably be like that age group maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's all ages. You can certainly come in and if you like to sing and get on, you know, this is uh, no beers or anything and just involved. Good, good, just yeah. sing. Family karaoke. So 
I'd have to look you at this. You can do a little shake like, it off action on there. Yeah, that's a good one. Which ones do you know? Shake it off. Do I know that? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Oh, lips are moving. That's, um, I know. If your lips are moving, mm -hmm. then you lie, lie, lie. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Megan Trainer. Yes, thank you. Do you Happy, know that's, your, that's your ringtone. Oh, that's my ringtone. Happy. Okay, I would know that one. So, how it's going to... Let it go. Oh, God, who does not know <laughs> Let It Go? If, if somebody in the world does not know the song Let It Go, I, I, you've lived under a rock or so something. So, speaking of karaoke, yeah. so in Let It Go, there's, oh, a, no. there's a show in Disney that's a Frozen sing-along. And fun fact, that is Justin's favorite show in Disney World. Really? The Frozen sing-along, absolutely. That's it's hilarious. It's cold in there, for one thing. Yeah. And um, That'll and there's me. two MCs that tell the story of Frozen, and they are hilarious. Okay. And but yeah, but then you hear so you hear like you know however many hundred people are in this theater, right? Little tiny little voices singing "Let It Go." Oh, I all, love it. All different keys. That's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. I do like yeah. that. That is fun. But that is his favorite show, so it's funny. Well, "Let It Go." is on here and um, as well as many but we have a lot of karaoke CDs we do so and, a nice and they're all going to be out so if you know maybe if you want to come in and peek and see what we have to be ready for it otherwise when you come in to prepare <laughs> yeah well you know hey there's tr trophies involved <laughs> right yeah well, I don't believe in you know yeah, you might as well have trophies something. Um, come in and you'll go through all the CDs, pick the song that you want, we'll put it up and it's all yours. Sing away. Yeah. I remember you did that a lot a couple years ago and it was really It really was fun. really fun. Yeah. So that's so funny you brought that. Yeah. So I, this was my niece and nephew yeah. and our little, they used to always get me like a random gift from like a dollar store or something. Yeah. This is what I got one year. And I used to use it when I did the Shakespeare programs, and I'd have the oh, kids yeah. come in, they'd, yeah. I'd make them hold this while they read Shakespeare. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, so that's my makes Shakespeare look good. Yeah. Nice and fluffy. It's like, yeah. Excellent. All right, so Love that's it. karaoke, Monday, karaoke July night, 10th. Yep. All right, you've got this with Smash the Super Brothers. Smash Brothers. Yep, so we're oh, having God. more Smash Brothers tournaments um, for our tweens and teens oh, on July 11th. Yeah. Um, so the tweens will be at 4, teens at 6.30. Come in um, and enjoy playing Smash Brothers with your uh, with your friends and classmates, and that will be run by um, Miss Morgan as well. So she's for keeping that girl busy this summer. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, like her busy. Um, is that the thing that we got the T-shirt for? Is this no, the one, that's or that's Mario a different Kart. one? So yeah. I meant to bring that shirt in. It was yeah. kind of a good find. Yeah. The one and only shirt. Yeah, <laughs> right. like, one person's going to get a free one, Mario yeah, Kart t-shirt. Exactly. Yeah, the Mario Kart tournament's coming up. Um, we'll be talking about that next episode. Okay, next episode. All right. Yeah. Uh, book tween club. Book Club. Oh, so in the summer, we are, when you come, like how we like to feed you. Um, <laughs> well, get isn't some that popsicles. True? Yep. We, will, we always have something cool to eat in the summer that'll cool you off after a long day, hot day outside playing at the pool. Nice, easy summer read. That's cute. It is, who doesn't love a dog? I love a good Stories dog about book. dogs saving Hannah. The, a Story of a Refugee Dog by Aww. Miriam Halloney. And yeah. I know, is that cute? Um, what if you were um, fleeing for your life but had to leave your dog behind oh gosh. you know right there it's you know you it says it all <laughs> okay. right the tears already start coming up <laughs> nine-year-old Rudy is escaping of course Nazi Germany on a kinder's transport to England however he cannot bring Hanno his wonderful dachshund Luckily, his family finds a way to smuggle Hanno to London, but with England on the brink of war, many British citizens start uh, start euthanizing their pets. Oh, I'm sorry. Rudy will do almost anything to save Hanno, but he will have to work quickly. And this is um, a Bank Street Best Book of the Year. So... Looks like a good yeah, one. it's um, quick read. A yeah. very fast read, but 
You know, and it's interesting, a very fast read for an intense subject. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. So that, we are coming together Thursday, July 27th, 4 o'clock, time same as usual. And you come, we'll discuss the book and have some cool summer treats. Cool. And be with us. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So... Speaking of books, we're going to share with you um, some good books to read this summer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to focus on nonfiction. We have since kind of revamped and relocated our teen nonfiction collection. So now when you're downstairs, main level of the library, before you enter the teen room is where the nonfiction collection lives. And we have really awesome nonfiction books for our teen readers of all different topics. So this one I thought was super cute. This one's brand new to us. It's called... How to Doodle, The Complete Guide. Because oh. who doesn't like to doodle in their yeah. notebooks, you know? Nobody room. doodles during class, though. No. Nor during book buzz. <laughs> <laughs> but all it teaches right. you how to make That's all cool. these different little pictures and things. Yeah, out like of your you could, doodles. Uh, well, no, how to, how, to make, how to draw all these things. It's like yeah. a drawing book, I guess. But, yeah, That's but so Little cool. doodles. Yeah, it's super, super cute. So... This is a that's brand a new fun. one to us, How to Doodle. So it's like, that's a fun one for the summer because yeah. you're reading and um, have an activity as well. Right. So, that, yeah, I that like it. That was really cute. I like it. Do you have a good book to share? Oh, maybe. Well, you know what I was going to start with um, before I get into my other books? I just w brought these as an example. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, as everybody's getting ready to travel, and if you haven't already gone, a lot of people go like, right after school ends or right before school begins. We have a ton of books on travel, but these ones are great. I think we have them for about every, almost every state. Mm -hmm. And um, this one happens to be Kids Love Virginia and Kids Love Missouri. Um, these are just showing you that, um, like the back says, discover hundreds of exciting places that kids would love to visit in Virginia. Our kids would love to visit in Missouri. And I know that we've got Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey. Um, so all kinds of, all kinds of um, ways to find out what to do. Yeah. I love you know, it. it's like, I, I like going to different places, you mm -hmm. know, but you don't know necessarily what you're going to do all the time. I right. mean, you get things planned out because you do the Disney thing. But, you know, if you were going somewhere... If you were going to Missouri, yeah, well, I've as been an there. Example. I've been up in that t up in that arch. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, there you go. So come in and get some books on what you can do this summer. Very cool. Okay, yeah, that's I like my start. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, when we do our road trips, I like the kids get a goodie bag for and when every time we get to a new state, and I put in the goodie bag several facts about that state. Mm. Did you know that West Virginia is like the only state that there was never any dinosaur fossils found? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. huh. Every other state they found like dinosaur fossils. So but that's your fun fact of the day. Virginia or West, West Virginia? Virginia? In West Virginia. Mm -hmm. What did you do with your dinosaur fossils, you people in West Well, they never made it there, I guess. Maybe they were yeah, confused. Okay, so am they, I in Virginia? Am I in West Virginia? I don't know. West Virginia so is not really west So they went this way to the south, this way, and head to Pennsylvania and just kind of moved around it? Maybe. I don't know. We'll never know. They know well, yeah, they just haven't been, maybe they that's, haven't been discovered yet. That's an interesting, that's my fun fact for That you. is your interesting fact. I like it. Yeah. You want to do another book? Yeah, this one is, so we have, like I said, they're all topics. This one's very different. This one's called Flawed, How to Stop Hating on Yourself, Others, and the Things that Make You Who You Are. Um, when you look in the mirror and you only see your flaws, it can be hard to be your best self. So see yourself as perfectly impossible. Treat your treat life as playfully as possible. Think about what really matters. So this is a book all about about self love and how to care about yourself. So another, I think that's cool. Yeah, it's another good one. Yeah, it's another brand new one to us. So again, like very, our nonfiction's all all over the place. Yeah. So all different topics. You picked some good ones. Yeah. Of course. Of course. All right. Are. Well, for me. I went also pulling books that I think would be fun for summer reads. Nothing too heavy, just um, fun books 
all new. Again, I talk about our new books that come with that. You'll find them in the new book section with the green dots on it. So who doesn't love baseball in the summer? This is by Marcus Stroman. It's called The Grip. You grip the ball, but doubt grips you. Ooh. Never let anybody or never let anyone believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Marcus Stroman, that was his quote. He's an actual baseball player. Yes. Marcus has always loved playing baseball, but as tryouts loom for the middle school baseball team, suddenly the pressure gets turned up, not only on the outside, but inside Marcus's head. He can usually ignore any taunting or razzing from other kids, teasing him for being short or a bit... A batter giving him a look from the plate, but this is different. This isn't about keeping negative things from getting in. This is about getting all of the negative thoughts out. And then he whispers to himself, breathe in and breathe out. And he grips the ball. All eyes are on him. Can he let it fly? And you have to read it to find out. I think that'll be good boys and girls but you know guys that love all the sports yeah. and and well hopefully up to this point uh, pirates are still doing okay <laughs> so maybe you can if not <laughs> read, a, still fun. read read a book i know it is i going I, to the games is still fun it is and the wild things games are fun it is power uh, yeah. games are fun yep. yeah i agree okay it's so another one this is another brand new to us um it's about mindfulness it's called mindfulness for teens in 10 minutes a day so oh. exercises to feel calm stay focused and be yourself so there's like little 10 minute exercises to do to kind of just refresh and you know clear your mind and kind of calm down a little bit so this is a brand another brand new one in our teen nonfiction section Cool. You've picked some good ones. I like those. Very positive for the teens. All right. This one, absolutely positively natty uh, by Lisa Greenwald and her shirt. I love her shirt. Good vibes only is what it's saying. <laughs> and then there's the cute. On the back, there's all these little post-it notes. And one says, we can, excuse me, we can only go up from here. Attitude is everything and we will bring it. Sometimes good things fall apart so that better things can fall together. Hmm. How's that? I love that. Yeah. So what's the point of bad vibes? I think positivity is uh, kind of contagious. If we have a good attitude, everything can be really good. Actually, it can be better than good. It can be great. Oh, that sounds what a good like, uplifting. It kind of goes good with my mindfulness. It Very does. Peaceful, yeah. Uplifting. Yeah. Something. Uh, Something nice to read this summer, you know, yes. go easy on yourself, but don't forget to add, add all of these pages yes. and stuff into your yes. so login every on minute Beanstalk. that you read for our K through six friends and every page you read for our teens. Please yep. make sure you re record that because you get a point for all of those things yep. and that's how you earn these, um, these prizes. And a lot of it has, um, you know, bonus prizes. I know for sure for that age, for the, Linda's group that she's talking about for that positivity book, is kindness is a, mm -hmm. is a one so you can I, I bet you that book is about being kind so they could get a bonus point for reading that book look at that go Excellent. all right so nor nonfiction for teens we have a whole um collection oh, of teen cookbooks yeah this is a brand new one fantastic vegan recipes for the teen cook huh. um, i'm not even vegan and no that but good. everything looks so good and there's pictures which is always like oh i love pictures look at that pizza see i like I like pictures because then when you're making it and, and you it see what it's nothing, supposed to look and you like, you realize you'd failed. And you go, this looks, <laughs> yes, this looks like nothing like but, what that's but supposed to look like. If it tastes good, that's all that matters. So, yeah. we, like I said, we have a bunch of recipes, um, about cookbooks, and I think one of the goals for the teen challenge is to learn a new skill this year and to read a nonfiction book that would teach you new skills. So a lot of like doodling, cooking, yeah. all of this would be great, um, great uses of great books to try out. And um, again, you can log those on Beanstack and earn some activity points too. I think it's a win-win. Yeah. And you know what I was thinking, um, boy, what a great way to spend your summer kind of building on all of that. Yeah. You know, totally. What a take, fun thing to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. take it all in and Learn to cook. Make your, yeah, make yourself a better person. Okay, uh, you are here connecting flights. I looked at this one. This looks really cool. This is really cool. This is written by all of these authors. 
Wow, a lot are of in here. And like the famous ones that we know, like Aaron and Trotta Kelly, Grace Lynn, Ellen O's, Linda Sue Park, they all have a part in this um, in this story. In a crowded Chicago airport, an incident at TSA impacts 12 young Asian Americans, all strangers to one another before this day. As events cause their journeys to intertwine, they discover the challenges of friendship, the perils of younger siblings, the power of words, and the unexpected significance of a blue Stratocaster electric guitar. Hmm. 12 virtuoso authors, that's what they are, draw from their own experiences to explore themes of identity and belonging in the interwoven stories of young people whose family roots may extend to East and Southeast Asia, but who are themselves distinctly American. Hmm. I think that'd be really cool. So that's a fun summer read. You know, you think about, you know, traveling, traveling. and flying and running through yeah. airports. We were just talking about that. Yeah. You know, all the, the stuff you have to go through now in airports. Right. So go ahead. We have one a more real quick one. So this yeah. is going to talk about learning a new skill. Teen Guide to Saving and Investing. Oh. So we have a bunch of teen money smart books okay. in our nonfiction section, too. So. Um, that's a skill that I, unfortunately I don't know if is taught as much, like how to actually manage money and take, you know, and um, invest and what that all means. Right. So, um, you know, this talks all about that. So, but it's written in a way that you know it's not as boring as you might think, since it's geared toward teenagers. So we have a whole whole section of personal finance books geared to teens, also in our um, our teen section. So. That's great. You know, I think that is a good life skill. Oh my there gosh, there's so many life skills, and that is a good one, especially these days. Things get tough out there, right? So you know, start saving, and investing, and learning about all that stuff is all good. Yeah, yeah. good choices. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you have me excited to read all summer. <laughs> Maybe I'll start reading. <sighs> <laughs> like we never read, right? <laughs> All right. We'll see, see you, you next, next time. time. We could cheers. Yep. All right. Good. I was thirsty. <laughs>